Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be making a review video on Wacom Bamboo Pen and Touch. I already unboxed it, but unfortunately I had to delete the video. Well, I didn't have to, but I deleted it by mistake. But here's the review anyway. So the box looks something like that. It's blue in color and black on the sides. Um, on the back it says a whole bunch of stuff about the tablet not really important so in a second let's open this show you what's inside I already took the tablet out and set it up on my computer but here is what the box looks like and here's the manual if you want to read it uh, the flap is really annoying but here's the CD it comes with wait, I don't think you can see the CD yeah that, that is the software it comes with the drivers and also comes with Photoshop Element 7.0 and 6.0 for Max and Nick Color Effects. I have no clue what that is, but here's the CD. And this is the driver CD. So it also comes with extra nibs for your pen. In case they run out. So now that that's over with, um, the pen. Well, I'll show you right here. That's the tablet itself. That's my hand too. Well, that's the mouse. That's the size of it. So. Let's see, this pen comes, it has an eraser on the end, you can use it to erase anything you made, any mistakes you made, and here, and you just normally write it. It also comes with two switches, yeah, it's there, right there. The two switches, you can program them to do whatever you want them to do. So here, if you put your pen within, I don't know, half a centimeter of the tablet, it works as a mouse. And if you touch it, it counts as it's clicking. So if you touch and drag, you can see there on my desktop, it's, it's like click and drag. So it also has four buttons here. They can be programmed to do whatever you want them to do. I programmed mine to, um, I think it's undo, redo, and next frame and next blank frame or something. So I'm just going to open up Photoshop here. Um, what else is, yeah, um, this tablet is pretty skinny. Uh, wait, I can't tell if you're, you can see this or not. Yeah, it's pretty skinny. No, it's lightweight. It has a strap here for your pen to go in. So it just stays on there. Well, I didn't put it. There we go. And the eraser seems to be running out. I don't know if it actually does. But, yeah. And it's it's pen and touch so it also takes touch input I disable that right now because it gets annoying when you're trying to draw and you touch it and it messes you up it tends to get some scratches I don't know if you can see that I don't think you can but there's some scratches but I don't mind it it still works fine um, the cord is long enough to go to the front of my desktop it can also go to the back 
but that's barely enough so yeah you might want to consider that before buying this um, unless you have a laptop then that's just way better Sick. okay so you can kind of see me moving on here and you can see the mouse moving so it's pretty much a mouse except controlled by a pen so it does have um, it is pressure sensitive so you can let's just make a new file okay pick a paintbrush um, th by the way this Photoshop is not the one that comes with it the one that comes with it is Photoshop Elements and it's not that great well I don't like it very much so you can see see if I apply more pr pressure it writes darker but then when I apply less and less pressure it gets skinnier and skinnier and I think it's the Photoshop's fault that the lines aren't coming very straight if I did open flash which I'm going to be using this for uh, one sec, once that loads up I'll show you but what else is there oh yeah and the pen does not have a battery in it I do not know how it works without a battery in it uh, I that's all I have to say about the pen not having a battery so in, if you're probably thinking about using this in flash or any other program that you have to enable the touch pressure sensitive on like for example right now it's all the same whether I apply more pressure or not but once you click that there use pressure it's totally different you can see it's changing size so yeah that's all I wanted to show you with flash and here you can see the line the gray line it goes all the way over there that is pretty much your computer screen so it's not like a mouse where you can like redrag and like you can't keep doing that you have to go all the way there to go to get to the end of your desktop monitor screen whatever and the same with this side yep that's about it let's see the cord is pretty good um, the software is sometimes glitchy like for example let's say you unplug it because I switch it between my laptop and my desktop sometimes um, if you do switch it around it tends to glitch up if you don't plug it in before you start the computer and also another thing if it does glitch up then restart your computer uh, well plug it in first and then restart your computer and do not touch the tablet like with your hand or with the pen just go to start and bamboo preferences you might find it in all programs uh, I don't know where I can yeah bamboo and bamboo preferences and once this shows up then it should work fine so in case it messes up for you you might have to do that you might have to restart your computer and just click on bamboo preferences and that should fix the problem if it does not because it didn't on my desktop then you should uninstall it and go to the site I will give you a link in the description go to Wacom site and download the latest version of the drivers and that should fix it up for you so that's all I have for now um, yeah thanks for watching hope this helped